evening to you. A beautiful day. Take a look at these clear blue skies in Gibson City on what has been a really nice day with temperatures back in the 70s. As we look at the satellite radar picture, skies are clear. Lots of sunshine today, and we've got temperatures that are in the low and mid 70s right now. Take a look. 75 in Champaign, 77 degrees in Springfield right now. More of this warmth will be around as we go throughout the next couple of days. Winds out of the southwest, 10 to 15 miles an hour as we go throughout this evening. We'll see temperatures once again cooling back off to those low 50s. More about another big warm up for tomorrow when we come back. WCA3 News starts right now. Now from WCIA3 News. Spring break at the U of I may look different this year. Why university leaders want to change which days students get off. Plus, two people are dead and several others hurt after a crash this morning. How police say it happened. And a pharmacy is closed for repairs after its ceiling collapsed. Why the owner says it is so important to get this shop back up and running. You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 5. I don't think that the change is going to make any difference. But some university leaders think it will, and that's why they're considering taking away spring break, or at least the one most of us are used to. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. The Academic Senate is considering this because it means students will be less likely to travel. That also means reduced risk of COVID-19 exposure. But some students doubt it will make any difference. WCI3's Courtney Bunting is live from campus. Courtney, so students just won't get the time off? Well, actually, Jennifer, it will be separated this year. They won't get it consecutively like they're used to. For example, they might get a Wednesday off in the middle of the week, and that will make it difficult for them to travel anywhere and then come back. But that's the idea behind it. This proposed schedule would also change the dates of the start of the spring semester. It'll move it back by a week. That's to give students time to test and quarantine or isolate if necessary. Senate leaders say they specifically avoided days off like Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays when choosing these three separate days for students to have off because getting those days means students will likely travel. I talked to students who had mixed feelings about this schedule. I feel like students are still going to travel, especially since classes will probably be online anyway, and families are going to plan vacations no matter what. Also, I feel like a lot of people might actually be traveling during that time, so just for like safety reasons, I get why they're doing the changes. Senate leaders tell me these recommendations were made based on lessons they learned this semester. They saw what worked and what didn't when it comes to handling COVID-19. This proposed schedule was made with that knowledge in mind. That schedule is on the agenda for the meeting Monday night for the Senate, and they plan to vote on it then. Live in Champaign, Courtney Bunting, WCIA3, your local news leader. Courtney, thank you. The current proposal pushes the spring semester from starting January 19th to starting the 25th. It would also give students three days without classes, one in February, March, and April. Students who don't have all their vaccinations no longer have to worry about getting kicked out of their virtual classrooms. The state changed the rules, which originally didn't make a distinction between in-person and remote learning. Students are still required to get vaccinations before returning to in-person learning, but since many districts had to cancel opportunities to help students get them, the state is cutting students some slack. We were not able to do some of the great community-based programs that we normally are able to do. Um, we always have clinics on our registration day and throughout the first few weeks of the, of the school year to really help families uh, get up to speed on those requirements. Springfield still has more than 800 students who are not properly vaccinated. As of last week, Champaign and Decatur Public Schools had more than 1,000. Let's take a look at statewide coronavirus numbers now. Illinois reached a grim milestone today in connection to COVID-19. More than 9,000 total deaths since the pandemic began. Health officials say 29 people died in the last 24 hours, and that includes a man in his 70s from DeWitt County. There were more than 2,800 new cases statewide in the last 24 hours, and that brings the total number of infections 
diagnosed since the pandemic began up to th nearly 325,000. Now the state's positivity rate continues to rise now up to four and a half percent. Two people are dead after several vehicles crash on I-57 just north of Paxton. State police say a 26-year-old man from Onarga crossed the median and hit another driver. That's when a semi-truck hit the back of that second car. A passenger in that car, a 21-year-old woman from Pembroke, Pembroke Township, was killed along with the Onarga man. A three-week-old was flown to the hospital to be treated. An Abraham Lincoln reenactor is set to go on trial in December for child pornography and prostitution. 63-year-old George Buss of Freeport pleaded not guilty. He's accused of possessing a child pornography video and patronizing a prostitute. Buss had portrayed Lincoln for more than 30 years in the state, including a Civil War weekend in Coles County last year. A documentary about Ying Ying Zhang's case is now playing at the Chicago International Film Festival. I am alone in this foreign country. There are not many people like me on the road. Zhang was a visiting Chinese scholar at the U of I. She was kidnapped and killed in 2017 by Brent Christensen. He was sentenced to life in prison. This documentary is called Finding Ying Ying. It follows her case and her family's search for her remains. I always want to make a film about Ying Ying and her family. And I really hope after the audience watch the film, they can walk away with a, an image of a talented young woman and how much her life has touched others. That film festival is happening virtually. You can buy a ticket online to watch the documentary. We have more information on our website. A county board approved a wind farm this summer. Why its opponents will now be taking their battle to court. Plus this. Hopefully get them... Uh, back up and running soon. A pharmacy is picking up the pieces after its ceiling collapsed. How its temporary closure will impact the entire community. WCI3 News is sponsored by SK Exteriors. The walls are closing in on Mike Madigan, but his machine keeps on running. Take Betsy Londrigan. Her campaign's fueled by his lobbyist minions. Set up a joint pack with a Madigan political organization. Londrigan's cash stained by the stench of corruption. Reports say the FBI investigated a Londrigan donor raiding his house. Imagine what Betsy Londrigan would do behind the walls of this house. Congressional leadership fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. When it comes to medical emergencies, out here, every second counts. Delays can be fatal. So I asked Senator Durbin to help EMTs and firefighters to save our rural communities. He listened and led the fight to pass the SIREN Act, to recruit and train first responders, to buy the equipment we need to save lives. My community counts on me. It's good to know that we can count on Senator Durbin. Dick Durbin, a senator for times like these. I'm Dick Durbin, and I approve this message. I'm deeply concerned about the tax hike amendment. They claim they're only going to increase taxes on the rich, but if their out of control spending tells us anything, they'll be back for more. I don't trust Springfield politicians to be fair to taxpayers. Do you? You've heard, it's not what you know, but who you know. And it must be good to know Rodney Davis. His special interest donors sure got lots of perks. And while other businesses waited weeks for COVID relief funds, Rodney Davis's brother got a million bucks just 48 hours after he could apply. Then Davis voted to hide the payments from taxpayers. Rodney Davis helps his friends, not you. House Majority PAC is responsible for the content of this advertising. The politicians claim their tax hike amendment won't hurt most families, but that's false. If this passes, there are no restrictions. It's like writing the government a blank check. And I don't believe it's going to stop with the rich. I believe it's going to hit the middle class. Please vote no. Live from your local news leader, Jennifer Roscoe, Paul Cicchini, and Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Kevin Lighty. You're watching WCIA 3 News at 5. Head completely collapsed in our dispensing area. And thankfully, no one was hurt when the roof caved in at this business. Today was the first day trying to rebuild at Dick's Pharmacy in Arthur. WCI 3's Gabrielle Cook is live in the newsroom. So, Gabrielle, ex what exactly are the next steps? Well, they're focusing on transferring prescriptions to their sister pharmacy in Sullivan. They've been in the area for a long time, so many people were concerned when they first found out. 
I feel like a lot of people um, rely on that um, close by pharmacy, so for their medications, and um, I think it's, it's, this is going to really impact the people of Arthur. A ceiling collapse at Dick's Pharmacy will impact people. While everyone is okay, the store lost many prescriptions. Owner Cindy Reed says she's grateful their server is okay. That was like a blessing that it didn't hit that um, because that would have knocked out the whole computer system and then we wouldn't have had patient profiles or the ability to operate at all. Reed bought the store in 2015, but it celebrated its 100th anniversary last year. So she feels the building is also a piece of history. Having an old building is is one thing and, and you, you do know that it comes with certain risks, um, but it also comes with a lot of history and a lot of, I really, I really love the history of the building and the town and, and all, all that that entails. Dawn Body has lived in Arthur her whole life and says the community will always be supportive. As a community, we're going to come together and, and take care of them, so hopefully get them back up and running soon. The pharmacy was also planning to host a flu clinic at the store, but the city is working with them on having a new space for that clinic. Back to you. Pretty incredible that nobody was hurt given what it looks like inside. Yeah. All right, Gabrielle, thanks. A lawsuit's been filed over an incoming wind farm in DeWitt County. The lawsuit opposing its development was filed on behalf of about 70 people. They're suing the county board and NL Energy. Board members approved the project by a 6-5 to five vote in July, allowing the construction of 66 turbines that could reach up to heights of almost 600 feet. Opponents say those who voted in favor didn't go to hearings where evidence against the project was presented. Kevin, another nice day. Wow. We just want to hang on to this weather as long as we possibly can. We would love to. I've only got one more day left of this. That's it? That's it. all you can promise? That's all I can promise because we're going downhill here later this week. Okay, let's talk about what uh, we've got out there tonight where we've had, again, a beautiful day. Lots of sunshine, and you can see that here on our Virginia Bug on at Bratcher weather camera. Uh, currently sitting at a comfortable 75 degrees. When we come back, though, we're going to talk about... This last warm day, gusty winds and Mars. How will, it will be very rare in the sky tonight when we come back. WCIA 3 News is brought to you by Spiro's Law. As a second generation business with second generation employees, we are seeking a fast paced, experienced technician to take care of our second and third generation customers. Take control of your income and apply on Facebook at Ron's Truck Auto. This home is equipped with Wi-Fi from Xfinity. There's this game time interneting room. So fun. Wow. And then there's this work from home interneting room. Finally, the open concept interneting room. This is not an open house. But your front door was open, so technically it is. Get the most in-home Wi-Fi coverage with Xfinity XFi. Now that's simple, easy, awesome. Get started with Xfinity Internet for $25 a month for 12 months. Plus, learn about our gig speeds delivered on the largest gig speed network. Switch today. The home office has taken on a new meaning. Let's update. Everything Amish handcrafted for the home. If you can envision it, we can build it. Learn more at prairiecommonscollective.com. I'm Betsy Dirksen Londrigan, and I approve this message. Scandals and special favors. Rodney Davis, another Illinois politician out for himself. The ComEd scandal. Davis took $64,000 from the CEO, executives, and PAC of a company that admitted bribery to keep rates high. The PPP loan debacle. Davis's family got to the front of the line for a million-dollar payout, and he voted to keep it secret. While businesses and families suffered. Rodney Davis. He wins. We lose. Struggling to get a great night's sleep? Shop local at Mattoon Mattress for quality bedding that costs less. Visit our showroom to see our large selection and pick out the right mattress for you. Make the comfortable choice today. Visit Mattoon Mattress. Take back control of your career with grants up to $16,000. From layoff to liftoff, East Central Illinois WorkNet can help you pursue training and professional certifications in many rewarding fields. Visit our website today. Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Kevin Lighty. All right, since we're going to have clear skies, I want to let you know about something happening that won't happen again for another 15 years. Check out Mars in the night sky tonight. It is at what is known as 
opposition. Okay. Basically, what that means is the sun, the earth, and the uh, planet Mars are all lined up to one another. And what that allows is, is basically Mars is at its brightest and its biggest in the sky. And it'll be that way uh, until 2035. So tonight is the night that you can easily pick out Mars. When you see that bright, shiny object in the sky, that will be Mars out there tonight. So you can check it out tonight. All right. You're going to have the clear skies to be able to see that. That's what's nice. And it will be pretty comfortable as well for that. 75 in Champaign, Decatur, 76 in Taylorville right now. And as we go throughout uh, the next several hours, you're going to see temperatures getting back down to those 50s again, as you can see here by around midnight. But we're talking about a low down near 45 degrees or so as we head into early tomorrow morning. All right, let's do some water towers. Wellington, high temperature tops at around 77. Yes, it is going to be a warm day for your Wednesday. Farmer City looks pretty good. This is the last of it, though. As I mentioned, we're going to see those temperatures tumble after we get through tomorrow. 79 degrees there in Arthur. Enjoy it. All right, we've got a new one for you. It's the car door slam alert. You know what that means. It's going to be windy. And that, yeah, Jennifer Roscoe, I think she gave me that idea a few weeks ago. So here we go. We've got the dog alert. We've got the trash can alert. Now the car door slam alert because we're going to have 40 mile per hour winds tomorrow. Look out for those gusts, especially into the afternoon. But it is that wind that is helping to boost our temperatures up. Not the greatest time to go out and maybe do some of the leaf blowing because those winds are going to be up there tomorrow, even Thursday. Uh, things get a little bit better by Friday. We've got a small chance of some rain showing up there as we head towards Thursday. Okay, 45 tonight, mostly clear, a little bit less in the way of some of the wind. We're going to see 78 degrees, mostly sunny in those windy conditions as we head into the day tomorrow. Don't forget, you can always download the WCIA3 weather app. It's free for you. Search WCIA3 weather. Okay, let's take a look at your seven-day forecast, and you can see that, again, the temperature is really taking a tumble after tomorrow. You've got 78 tomorrow, and then you're talking about 58 on Thursday, 57 on Friday. Look at the third showing up for Friday morning and then temperatures staying fall like and then some rain early next week. So wow, wow, wow. 34 frosts on the pumpkin here in a few days. I Brutal. appreciate the, the credit for the idea. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, even if you didn't. I I'd throw say. something out and you just whip it up. Hey, listen, I, the next one I think is maybe the shopping cart uh, alert for the wind as well. I gotta keep coming up with keep it. coming up with the more wind. more ways the wind is obtrusive exactly. to our lives. I've got like five ways to show you. <laughs> I'm worried about the door going the other way when it's really windy and you're parked in a, in a parking lot and hits the car next to you. Exactly. Both ways work. Yeah, yeah, it's rough. All right, looking for a bright spot to your day. Here is one from Piatt County. A hospital is using a display to help raise awareness for breast cancer. Nurses at the Kirby Medical Center in Monticello decorated beautiful pink pumpkins with one message behind them. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Paint Pyatt Pink is a community initiative here in Pyatt County uh, to raise awareness for breast cancer awareness. Um, every year we have fundraisers and fun little events that our employees here can get involved in and um, our community. Nurses also painted the windows in the hospital and put up a pink Christmas tree. We want to see your pictures and videos for our bright spot. Email us or send them on Facebook. We have a post on our page for you to share what you'll see. A short stretch of road in one county could soon see changes where board members are voting on a new speed limit tonight. Plus, Willard Airport has a new addition. Now, we will become more attractive for future businesses. How it's helping them improve international travel. WCIA 3 News is brought to you by Spiro's Law. When I grow up, I'm going to have my own place with my own housekeeper and no more yard work. I will have my meals cooked for me and I will have friends there to share past memories and make new ones. Assisted living at Autumn Fields is everything you dreamed. Delicious home-cooked meals and countless activities with friends. With three central Illinois locations, you'll love your new carefree life. Reserve a private tour today and welcome home to Autumn Fields. For learning. For laughing. That one I already had in my mouth. <laughs> and for trying brand new things. Is it corn? Is it Living. Weekdays at 4. 
Betsy Londrigan is lying to you. I have not taken any money from Speaker Madigan. The truth is, Madigan spent nearly $300,000 to elect Londrigan. Londrigan also takes money from corporate lobbyists, even Big Pharma, breaking her promise not to accept corporate dollars. And those negative ads against Rodney Davis, paid for by corporate cash. A Madigan machine politician, Betsy Londrigan is lying to get elected. I'm Rodney Davis, and I approve this message. Your news every hour in primetime is on News Nation on WGN America. News Nation was live in Louisville after the release of the grand jury recordings. And we had an exclusive interview with Dr. Deborah Burks on how she says children could safely return to school. The virus comes in from the community. News Nation covers your nation every night starting at 8, 7 central on WGN America. Go to WGNAmerica.com to find WGN America on your cable or satellite provider. News continues here on WCIA 3, your local news leader. A new Customs and Border Protection facility is now open at Willard Airport in Savoy. The site will allow private plane traveling internationally to land directly at Willard and clear customs for the first time. Prior to this, planes had to do that through a different airport, like O'Hare. Willard will allow a total of 20 people per flight to go through customs. You need a CBP appointment at least 72 hours before landing at Willard. Without doubt, we will become more attractive for future businesses to arrive at Willard and look forward to those improved opportunities. For the past two years, we've been working closely with Flight Star. FlightStar paid for the facility's construction and will cover the cost to run it. The Coles County Board is set to act on a speed limit change tonight. It would affect a section of road near Lake Paradise. It's at the south end of Coles County Road 20. 280 East. The board is scheduled to vote on lowering the speed limit from 55 miles an hour to 40 at tonight's meeting. We'll take a look at today's top stories coming up. But first, this from our D.C. Bureau. Supreme Court nominee Judge Amy Coney Barrett undergoes a marathon of questions from lawmakers in the second day of confirmation hearings. I'm Raquel Martin in Washington. I'll have the highlights coming up. Today on the morning show, a traffic delay after a two-car crash on I-57. A full report from the scene. And tomorrow, it's Wise Guys Wednesday. Paul Quiat joins us to talk about Neon. And Wednesday is going to be an even windier day with some gusts potentially over 40 miles an hour. This portion of WCIA 3 News is brought to you by Roofs by Roger. A certified nurse midwife can care for women throughout their life cycle, including pregnancy, adolescence, and women's health. A common misconception is that midwives are only for prenatal care and delivery. Midwives also provide gynecological care. A midwife's care is relationship-based. We take into account your mind, health, life stressors, and of course your body. We work with our patients one-on-one -on -one to help manage birth experiences. We work closely with you to make sure your wishes are understood and respected. Ask your OBGYN about their midwife services. Stay well with Christy Clinic. When the pandemic had us down, Rodney Davis stood up for us, ensuring American manufacturers and workers could expand production of protective equipment, disinfectants, and other critical life-saving products. Illinois manufacturers are proud of the role that we've played during these challenging times and thank Rodney Davis for protecting our families and frontline workers. Call Congressman Davis and thank him for his leadership during this crisis. American Chemistry Council is responsible for the content of this advertising. The finances in Illinois are a mess. In my part of the state, cities and schools are strapped for money. If the fair tax doesn't pass and the millionaires and billionaires aren't forced to pay their fair share, they're going to come for more money from me. I pay all I can afford to pay now. It's time they step up and pay their fair share. If I were a billionaire from Chicago, I would be against a fair tax proposal. I get it. But for 97% of us in Illinois, it's going to be a tax cut. And that's why I'm for it. In times like these, communication is more important than ever. Right now, that's easier with a cell phone amplifier or other device from iTech. At iTech, we're making sure you get what you need now to stay connected. Learn more at iTechTTY.org.
Sound familiar? You have multiple medication bottles and you can't remember when to take them. Villa Grove Pharmacy is now offering a safe and convenient medication packaging system that will make it easy to manage and take your medications. It's called Dispill. Imagine all your medication in this easy to use custom package dispenser. Your medication is arranged by the day and time of day to take it. Dispill is a free service and there's no charge for delivery or shipping. Villa Grove Pharmacy, 4 North Main Street in Villa Grove. This is WCIA 3 News, your local news leader. President Trump's Supreme Court pick Judge Amy Coney Barrett was in the hot seat for the first time today. For hours, senators questioned the conservative judge on her record from health care to abortion rights to gun rights. Our Washington correspondent Raquel Martin has more. Have you committed to the president or anyone else? that you will vote to repeal the Affordable Care Act? Absolutely not. In her first day of questions, Supreme Court Justice nominee Amy Coney Barrett pushed back against accusations she has a vendetta against the Affordable Care Act. I'm not hostile to the ACA. Barrett insists if confirmed, she will be a judge and not a partisan policymaker. I'm not hostile to any statute that you pass. Republicans like Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley say Americans can trust Barrett's judgment. I think that your record shows that you'll be a faithful judge that takes each case seriously. But Democrats like Illinois Senator Dick Durbin say it's the president, not Democrats, undercutting Judge Barrett's integrity. Who came up with this notion, this insulting notion that you might violate your oath? Could it have come from the White House? Could it have come from the president's tweets? But Durbin adds Barrett's past two critiques of Obamacare are concerning. We naturally draw the conclusion there's going to be a third strike. He also questioned Barrett's stance on racial inequality. Have you seen the George Floyd video? Given that I have two black children, that was very, very personal. I think it is an entirely uncontroversial and obvious statement. Racism persists in our country. But Barrett stopped short of saying racism is systematic. Those things are policy question. After a marathon of questions, Barrett will be back for round two Wednesday. In Washington, Raquel Martin. Barrett would not confirm if she might recuse herself if the president were to challenge the outcome of this year's election. Right now, Democrats are asking that she does. We'll have a look at what's making headlines in central Illinois next. WCIA 3 News is brought to you by Asgrow DeKalb Seed. That's the coffee machine cleaning itself. You can hear that. Rachel's spaghetti and cutlet combo Whoops. kicks off an hour of simple dishes that'll change the way you cook chicken forever. This is slashed chicken. With Christopher Kimball. So simple and brilliant. Then our boys were asking, will daddy be back? After braving the unthinkable, one amazing family gets a huge surprise. Next, Rachel. Tomorrow at 3 on WCIA 3. I'm deeply concerned about the tax hike amendment. It gives Springfield politicians new power to increase income taxes on anyone, including middle income families like mine and hardworking Illinoisans like me. They would even have the power to tax my retirement income. We don't trust Springfield politicians to be fair to taxpayers. Do you? Please stand with family farmers and small businesses and vote no. Please vote no on the tax hike amendment. It's a great way to see the country. If you're in it for the long haul, so is Marvin Keller. No CDL license? No problem. Their in-house training program helps you get your license and down the road. Earn more respect per mile training with Marvin Keller. This home is equipped with Wi-Fi from Xfinity. There's this game time interneting room, so fun. Wow. And then there's this work from home interneting room. Finally, the open concept interneting room. This is not an open house. But your front door was open, so technically it is. Get the most in-home Wi-Fi coverage with Xfinity XFi. Now that's simple, easy, awesome. Get started with Xfinity Internet for $25 a month for 12 months. Plus, learn about our gig speeds delivered on the largest gig speed network. Switch today. This right here is the Papadilla, which if I'm not mistaken, is Latin for better than a sandwich. <laughs> Even has a better pickle. Papadilla for just six bucks. Better ingredients, better pizza, better than a sandwich. Papa John's. 
These are the top stories in central Illinois tonight. In Champaign County, university leaders are considering changing spring break for U of I students to limit travel. Instead of getting consecutive days, their days off would be separated. This proposed schedule would also delay the start of the spring semester by a week. Students who don't have all of their vaccinations don't have to worry about getting kicked out of their virtual classrooms. The state changed its rules, which originally didn't make a distinction between in-person and remote learning. Students are still required to get vaccinations before returning to in-person class. In Iroquois County, two people are dead after several vehicles crashed on I-57 north of Paxton. State police say a 26-year-old man from Onarga crossed the median and hit another driver. That's when the driver of a semi hit the back of that second car. A passenger in that car was killed along with the man from Onarga. Well, one more warm day. You can easily see that on the seven day with 78 for the high, followed by Thursday's 58 and a low on Friday morning of 34. Big changes, feeling fall like feeling a little bit closer to October weather as tomorrow's 78. That's 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 running about 10 to 15 degrees above normal. Uh, what's the average right now? I mean, where should we uh, be? In the mid 60s. Okay, so yeah. we go from above average to below. To below. Let's just let that happen. That's how it is. <laughs> Good night.